Roundtable with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian there and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat in two. Hey, what's up? It's your favorite producer's favorite producer, Buck Wow. I'm hanging out at the round table with Lenny S, Maya the B, and Big Life here on Rock Me TV. Don't shrink that screen. Back to yeah. you know, the building. Once again, we back live, New York City. We got our foot on the pedal. Stepping up on your ass, it's the round table, yeah. fool. Yo, we got a lot of rappers in the book. They heard rappers heard y'all gonna be here. We got Vic Damone here. We got Fred the Godson here. We got a lot of Bronx rappers coming through. Bronx is in the Bronx house. Bronx is in the house. Oh, yeah, the Bronx is heavy in here. No oh, doubt. Heavy, heavy. That's the next dude right there. Fred tell him, tell him, Buck. Fred the, Fred the, God. Fred the God. Next dude. He can't absolutely. Any, any dude who produces who make hot beats who live in New York, they know who he is. Exactly. That's right. Too bad. The labels don't. You're like right. They right. Don't I'm gonna change that, Buck. I'm gonna change hey, that. Hey, yo, Fred, I'm no road, I'm road manager, it. man. Road manager. Oh. Buck, <laughs> what's your favorite placement you've made? Oh, man. Hands down. Hands down, favorite? Right. It's gonna be tough. Now give us one, baby. One, 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 one. I had to say, I had to go with my man OC with Time's Up. Time's up. OC. That young buckaroonies don't know about OC and I Time's do, Lenny. Up. Lenny, I got to check off if that you, If you've seen 8 Mile, then you know what Time's Up is. I know is. OC is. And that's the ability of, like, when you say influential instrumentals, those are instrumentals, like, dudes will always rhyme off of. Yeah. Right. And it's All like, day. that's what drives the game. Right. Okay. Um, so, do you have anything that we need to be looking out for right now? What's the most recent project you've been working on, man? You had a 50. Oh, I just said. Well, you have a 50 record. Well, let's just record. say what might come out. Okay, what? <laughs> what might come out? Um, only one I noticed coming out is Jada. I was working with Saigon. Saigon has one of the most incredible albums I've heard. Just plays and it's in like, the and, I, I, and, and even for that, like, next week. I really commend Just because even being in the studio, I've heard six tracks, and it's like everything was ridiculous. Right. And by the time I got to the seventh track, I was like, yo, I don't want to hear anymore. I want to hear it when it comes out. Right. And it's like I haven't had that in eons. Where it's wow. like you get a good cohesive album where everything doesn't sound the same. Yeah. Shout out to Saigon. Shout out, there. big up to Saigon. So Saigon, Jay yeah. Kiss, anything else from most recently? Um, you had oh a man, 50 term, cent record. Terminology. Yeah, you're 50. On the Massacre um, album, weren't you? Yeah, I was on the okay. Massacre album. I told you I worked with them and everybody. Right. It was dead. You know? well, that, wasn't, that shit sold about what? Eight million worldwide? Seven, Seven million. Do you, Seven, do you ever get million. like sensitive? Like if a, if a rapper doesn't use you on the next album and he used you before, do you feel like, damn, like no. I. No. To me, I would rather work on the first album. Okay. Because me working with a lot of these rappers after they popped off does right. nothing for me. Okay. The only rapper that I work with on his second album where, you know, it, it did something and Big was only platinum was Biggie. How about 50? But the Massacre wasn't his first album. The Massacre was the second. Yeah. Second. But I had invites to work on the first, but okay. it's like, I was reluctant. Oh, you like rejected I, it? Yeah. Like, all right. And that's the that's power, cool. like, right now. Having that's why I rejected it. <laughs> Fuck why Not I like that. 50 cents. <laughs> it wasn't a rejection. No, I'm just it's like, kidding. You were like me, me being cool with certain rappers. Right. Like I'm a dude. I couldn't go to Busta and really be like, Yo, Busta, let me give you some beats. I got a different relationship with most of the artists, and it's right. like for me, that's how I get most of my placements. Okay. Even working with Kiss, it's like I have a relationship with the locks. Right. So anytime I really want to see them, it's like just on speed dial. Right. So I don't have to worry about like, Yo, you know, can I call such and such, such? Even same thing with Beans. We know how you know. Mm -hmm. Two part question. Is there more MCs or more producers, you think, right now? What we need? No. What, uh, what, First what of all, more? I, I tell you like this, we don't have many producers. Like, we have a lot of dudes, what we call, like, rap producers, um, beat, beat donors. Because dudes beat donors. Explain the difference, beat. real quick. The Between. difference with a producer, a producer can get in the studio and he can orchestrate the record. Like, coming from the time I come from, you had to be in the studio. Because it was no Pro Tools. It was no, like, I'm going to two-track your record and send it back to you. You got whatever you did, you got paid for what you did. And it's like you have a lot of producers or beat makers, whatever, they can do records, you could say, for fifty, they could do records for Buster. And it's like you ask like, yo, really tell me about the studio session. Or tell me with like Someone no one never met him. No one they wouldn't know. They couldn't even point them out, like, yo, I did your hit. Oh, right. that's you? Yo, good looking out on sending that beat, money. And it, and it's sad because it's like when you doing the music, the one thing you really need is the memories. Right. Like even, you know, Working, I could see like working with Pun, like having the stories of the things that happen, you know, during those sessions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, those are the things, that, those are the memories you have, but you know, just besides a check. Right. 
you know? Yes, okay. We want to get into something with you before we wrap this. Are you going to stay with us? Because we're going to have like a battle of the minds you gotta type stay. of gotta game show. We're going to have a producer show. panel. All y'all going to be up here and ask some questions. Yeah, we're going to try and make Just Blaze stay. Sean C and LV are here. Like, we, we, this is going to be dope. But um, we have a thing that we just did with Sean C and LV called the Scandal Session. Okay? Pun intended. Um, first, have you, Buck Wild, ever done a beat under an alias name? No. Nah. Never. Okay, all right. Have you ever done a beat that you have not got credit for? Say it. No. No? No. Nah. You look like you were... Fuck, never. Stop. Never, never, never. I don't know. Okay, no. nobody has said... Has you ever helped an artist with lyrics, like help them write a song, but then and, take no credit? Right. Mm. Did you write anybody's raps? Nah, I never wrote raps, but I could always get in an orchestrate what they need to do. You directed it. I can direct. Okay. Have you ever dated a celebrity? Nah. You're lying. Uh -huh. Come on. All nah. girls love a producer. They book, love I mean, um, yo, Buck, where can they reach you at? Got hand. a MySpace to where your fans can holler at you? Yeah. MySpace forward slash, you know, Buck Wild Producer. Buck Wild. Yo, uh, no, on point, before we get out, can you play a few joints before we get That's out of this right, segment? That's right, give us something about yeah, yeah, I got Buck, you, Buck, I got you. Let's do it, let's do it. Turn that music up. Queens in the building, DJ On Point. Yeah, keep it going on point, keep it going. Spivit, a Marcus Darby, for Bob Marley, that I got have a Zen Bob Marley. I'm God body, the scripture says I lost inside me. Show love, I'm talking. Keep it going on point, I need to hear some big, I need to hear some black rock. Y'all up on something. Yeah. Man. Yo, when you see something ill, you know what I mean? That's woke. Bronx on Buck Wild. Anything ill you see is woke. Have you a big six at the club? That's woke. Press the big guy. Keep it going, old boy. Keep it going. It's woke. Oh, yeah. 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 Gun, check wow. it out. Check wow. it out. This here goes out. Oh, niggas, hey, good looking on point. Yo, appreciate that. that. Appreciate that. We the round table. We be back. New York City. You better not shrink that screen. Don't shrink that screen, y'all. Mighty to be big light. Lenny S. Buckwild. My man Bangladesh up next. Holla at us. Bronx is in the building. Hey, what's up? It's your favorite producer's favorite producer, Buckwild. I'm hanging out at the round table with Lenny S. Mighty to be and big light here on Rock Me TV. Don't shrink that screen. Round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilianaire and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and